All right, in this scene we're going to put together uh, the rotor. And so we'll need our trusty cement, need our driver, and three uh, bolts and nuts to hold things together temporarily. It's also uh, a good part to have your um, little cardboard uh, placemat for because we're going to cement uh, kind of freely here. So the parts that we'll need are the actual rotor disc itself, the rotor hub, which has the star shape in it for the servo, and then these two kind of tricky small pieces here. They're like um, squared off U's, one larger than the other. Those are our um, what we call the push pin. Um, there's a better look at those since they're so tiny. <clears throat> so we also, uh, actually we don't also, we have everything we need. Let's get started. We have to peel. So peel. Okay, with everything peeled, let's get to assembling. So, what we want to do is push three bolts through. Well, let's go back for a second. There's a lot of holes in this, so I want to explain them. Uh, these three small holes are for the bolts that we're going to use for temporary alignment while we uh, hold this together. These three outer, larger holes are actually going to be where we inject cement in the same way we did when we built the rails. And the center round hole is just for um, getting, being able to get at the um, screw that holds the servo uh, horn on, which we don't have to worry about right now, but don't put any cement in the center hole. You'll see that there's nothing there to catch it as we do this, but just something to keep in mind. So we're going to put three bolts through this, these three small holes from the back, and then get that down on our bench with the threads facing up. The next step, we'll identify the three small round holes in the um, servo, uh, or sorry, the rotor hub itself. And we're going to work that down these three screws. That went easy for me. It might not be so easy for you, just depending on how your parts are and your bolts are. Um, but just be gentle there. There's some thin places here where the rotor hub could actually crack because the plastic is so thin. Not under normal use, just under the stress of of trying to force it down the the bolts is what I'm warning about. All right, so now that all three are in, we'll tighten this up. Go around like a, if you were putting a lug nuts on a car, just keep sort of going around. Instead of tightening one all the way first, just make two trips maybe around, get them all set and then get them all firm uh, on the second time through. All right, now we want to rest this uh, on our bench with the bolt heads up. So we're going to stand it on the actual bolts and then we're going to inject cement and I'll dot them here for you with a sharpie. You won't on your end, it's just for me to illustrate. But these are the three holes that are about to receive cement. Um, this center hole here well, it goes all the way through, it's not going to get any cement. That just is an access port for later. Clean up my glue thing here. Cement. And let's do it. So we're just going to inject a little pool of cement into each of these holes until they're, the floors are covered. If you want, you can fill them all the way up, but it's kind of a waste of cement. Just don't underfill them. Don't save cement. Alright, there we go. that done. Let's have a look at these guys here. These are the uh, the two constituents, the two parts of the rotor pin, push pin, and they're going to go together like this. And that leaves two little legs down below which are going to go in here. So the problem with this is alignment, um, especially uh, in this case where the tinted plastic that I've chosen is, I don't know, about a half a millimeter thinner than the normal three millimeter acrylic that we would use. Um, and so that leaves me with a part that really doesn't want to sit squarely. So uh, what I'm going to have to do is just square it in place and you may have to do this as well. So what I suggest you do is thread these two together as they are like this 
All right, and those are going to go into these two slots here. So let's get a little cement ready for that. We're going to put a vertical line of cement right there and then push this assembly, holding it with our fingers down into it. And then our best bet is to kind of square it off by eye, which is in fact good enough in this case. Um, because we have uh, another trick coming later which will help us get this perfectly uh, able to push the uh, lid around. But, you know, eyeball it for now, rock it back and forth, and uh, then I suggest adding a bit of cement to what you've done. If you can get your cement nozzle actually to clear to the joint edges here where the parts of the uh, push pin touch each other. And that's will make it very solid. And we are going to take advantage of the fact that this cement sets slowly uh, to give ourselves a little more time to align things here now that we have a lot of cement on that's going to lock it up the way we have it. So again, just bring it up to the eyeball here. You just kind of want it upright. centered and again this is may feel critical but it's not you just want basically to have a big cross sticking up out of your rotor that we're going to wrap later with some other plastic to turn it into a round all right and once with that done the uh, rotor just needs to set aside to cure so we'll let the cement dry up on that and we will move on Okay, so now there are two things left to do to this rotor assembly and it'll be finished. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is a little bit of sanding and for that I've got my sandpaper here. Um, this is adhesive sandpaper that I just stuck to an ordinary sanding block. Um, and the other thing we're gonna do is add a little more cement for strength and I've got the cement right here for that. Um, so before I actually do the work, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we will be doing. So we're gonna be working on the push pin here with the sandpaper and you can see the push pin is just this cross profile that sticks up out of the rotor. Um, and uh, we used to, in previous versions, we would wrap this with styrene plastic so that it had a round profile. Um, we've discovered since then that it's not necessary to do that. It's just an extra step that's kind of a pain in the butt. So um, instead, all we need to do is uh, we have these sharp corners on all of these four sides of the push pin that we want to get knocked off. And so if we pretend that this uh, piece of cardboard is my sanding block, I'm just going to put it on like this and just give it a couple strokes at each of these at each of these corners and just get them knocked off to ha so that, that they, each one has a slightly rounder profile. So I'll do that now uh, with the sandpaper. So I'm going to put it here so that it touches both of them and just just a couple strokes like that. Just want to knock that sharp corner down. So I'll change to these two. Do that. And these two. And then the final two. I say two because if you position the sandpaper properly like this, you can actually hit the corners of two uh, points of the cross at the same time. So that looks pretty good to me. You can tell better by feeling than you can by touching, and you can definitely tell now that uh, those corners that were nice and sharp are now um, have been softened a little bit. I want to work just a little bit more on two sides of this, I think. That side and this side here, in my case. Um, but once this thing, once you can sort of run your fingers or, uh, you know, pinch your fingers together around this and kind of rotate it in there, you don't feel any sharp corners anymore, you're good to go. So, let's blow that sanding dust away. Give it a final look here. Might do a little bit more on that part. And here too. Now that's the way I want it. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, take my cement. I actually have to get my nozzle ready. There. Get some of that old cement out of there. So I'm going to put the nozzle on and I'm going to circle the outside of the reinforcing ring on the bottom of the rotor here just going to take the cement and apply a bead all the way around that. Just a little extra cement for this part to make sure that it's nice and strong. OK, 
Okay, and the last thing is just to sort of look and see. Uh, let's see, I see an opportunity to add some cement into these two holes on the bottom, just to do some gap filling and uh, just to back that uh, back that existing bond up some more. Make sure the the push pin is in there nice and strong. Feeling pretty good about that. Okay, so that's it. Now we just let that sit and uh, dry down a little bit. But that's the end of the work on the rotor until it's until we get it installed in the crow box. So now we can move on to the next thing.